Hey guys, I just wanted to apologize in advance for the audio of this video. Um, the first half is really weird, um, but I didn't realize it till after I was done editing. So it gets better, I promise, if you stay tuned. But you can still hear everything that I'm saying, but the audio is pretty poor. I apologize, guys. But thanks for watching. Oh, and you will hear a beautiful serenade of flower snoring throughout this entire video, my sweet girl. Hey guys, <clears throat> good morning. Um, I woke up on the early side today. The dogs just heard me say good morning and they ran out. It's usually how I greet them when I feed them. So I might have to pause and feed them. Yeah, I'm gonna pause and feed them. Okay, I gave them T-R-E-A-T-S. I can't say it because then they'll want more, but it's not, it's a little too early to do like a full on their breakfast. I usually do right before I leave for work so that they're not hungry during the day. So I'm gonna wait a little bit, but I woke up a little earlier today. Um, I'm in like this spring cleaning, organizing mode. Um, so I spent a majority of this early morning before the kids have to go to school, um, cleaning in the backyard, weird. Um, but you know, we have like a nice little patio back there and then we got the new grass and I have some lights that I have haven't been able to like turn on in forever because it's been so cold and then we have a nice like heater back there um so I wanted to like clean it up a little bit and I don't know why I woke up early to do it today but I did and I'm out there and it's you know it's four o'clock in the morning almost five it is just silent and um I'm hearing this owl that is like catching my attention and it's like whatever we hear owls all the time but I remember the night before Jenny was given the diagnosis of cancer we heard an owl outside of our right outside of our door and we were like oh is that a sign is it a good sign a bad sign whatever so part of me was like maybe it's Jen saying hello um because why the heck am I out at or almost 4.30 in the morning, um, makes no sense. Then, and this is why I titled the video what I titled it, I'm all for like scientific phenomena, things happen, you know, we live on planet Earth and tons of things come into our atmosphere, but I'm gonna show you this video clip. Uh, let me go ahead and show it now. Okay, if that's not Jenny, then I don't know what it is. This is three o'clock in the morning. Look at this sky. Unbelievable. Wow. Never seen anything like it in my life. Wasn't that like unbelievable i haven't seen a meteor shower i haven't seen ever in my life um and i don't know what that was i'm assuming you know someone could say oh that's a meteor you know when they enter the atmosphere they turn a bright green and blah 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 sure but like why was i out at four o'clock in the morning cleaning my backyard that makes no sense um you know my sleep schedule's all crazy but i got a good night's sleep and i woke up early and wanted to get the kids all ready this morning and do everything this morning. And, you know, I look up in the sky and see that and I'm just like, what in the world? Um, that was fascinating. And Jenny's biggest thing she said uh, when she was here and she told us for when she's gone, no such thing as coincidences. So if you think it might be, it's her. So <laughs> I am chalking that one up as her somehow, some way maybe getting my attention to see it or whatever. But, you know, we always talked about shooting stars and when you see it, make a wish. And we always did that in our family. And I was just like, hi, Jen, you know, what are you trying to tell me? Like, go to bed. Um, 
you know, Easter was, was hard, but I think, you know, we all did a really good job at, you know, making a great day and spending time with family. And it was, it was a really good day. And that was one of Jenny's favorite days. So I don't know if she's just given a little hello or if it's nothing at all, could be nothing, right? But I just was like, that's unbelievable. I had to share it. Um, and the second reason I wanted to come on was I have to say thank you. Um, you guys know that, um, you know, we have the P.O. box that we opened up when we started this journey because a lot of people reached out to us and said, how can we help, blah, blah, blah. And after Jenny passed, one thing that we said was, let's let's make her a beautiful rock garden. That's something she always loved, I always loved, and you guys are unbelievable. Um, I just wanna show you some of these. The I, I don't ever wanna like, call people out for their art and stuff because I don't want you to think that if you ever send anything, you have to be an artist, like, no. Um, but the amount of, like, you guys are always so thoughtful, always. But the amount of thought and care in this particular round of P.O. Box opening stuff, I, I could not let it go without, like, giving a specific thank you to the countless people who send rocks, shells, pretty things they find, um, little gifts for the kids. I mean, uh, I, I can't even, um, I can't even. I wanna start with this. This is a little hamper for a camper. A hamper for a camper. And I'm thinking back to the video and I didn't know where to put dirty clothes. So somebody watched the video and sent this. That is so thoughtful and nice. And I can't wait to put this in the camper and use it. So whoever sent that, thank you. We love you and you're so stinking kind. Like that's so kind. Something just so simple, so kind. Um, by the way, I have an ingrown hair right here. Um, if you're wondering why my chin is extra red, those are really painful. <laughs> just throwing it out there. Um, then somebody sent this for the kids. It combines everything. We, everyone in our family loves Lego. Everyone in our family loves Disney. And then it's literally a little camper like we have. Like this is so thoughtful and kind and nice and generous and sweet. And my kids were so happy. They can't wait to build it with each other. And like, that's so kind. Like you guys are just so kind. I wanted to show this, a family camping journal. Again, thoughtful, kind, um, like you write down your campground, what you rate it, things you did, things that you saw. This is such a good idea. Like I get emotional. You guys are so kind and taking care of us. Well, dishes are done. Um, and then I don't know if she wants to be I'm sure knowing her, I won't give too much detail because I know her, but I had a professor in college. Um, when I was getting my credential and my master's in special education, mainly my master's, um, you see a lot of the same professors, you take the classes with them. And because I went to a small university, um, a lot of the professors taught multiple classes. So you see them often. And one that I had who was a kind of in charge of the whole special ed department was Dr. Taylor. Um, and, you know, there's, there's certain people in your life that just will always be there and leave a significant impact in your heart, in your mind, in the way you do things. And every day when I teach, I swear this, this professor pops into my head. She was that influential, she was that kind, she was that dedicated to special ed. I don't know why I'm so emotional. Um, such a kind human. And a, a lot of what I take when I teach in the classroom, I, I take solely from her. Anyway, she found our channel and um, 
So she found our channel and wrote me the sweetest card. Just so sweet. And I don't know, it's a big, big, big world, but it's a small world, right? Um, but it's just so thoughtful, you know, the card that she sent and the letter she wrote and Thank you, Dr. Taylor, if you're watching this. Um, it just means so much. Somebody sent this. Look at this pin. Are you kidding? Um, Winnie claimed this the second it came out of the box. So, yeah. Sorry for my chin. It's, like, really gross. Um, but... Um, I'm just seeing it glistening in the light. Who doesn't want that? Um, another thing, um, I had a child, um, somebody who's an expert in car seats and booster seats, and she wrote me a whole letter on just helpful tips and hints that I need to be doing that I haven't been doing. Um, somebody else mentioned Ellis's seatbelt being too like high on him and the minute I realized that um, he's now in a booster seat again um, I realized he's not tall enough to kind of be in the seat alone we thought or I thought because um, I looked online when you turn eight then you're good but it's not just that it's height and weight and all that so he's back in a booster and this person also said I need to raise Winnie's straps in her seat like just so thoughtful and nice and kind and didn't make me feel bad, just helpful hints to, to help me with my kids. Jenny was always big on researching all the car seat stuff, you know. Um, so I, I know so half the time I'm not sure what I'm doing. Um, and it was just like, that's so thoughtful. Um, I'm telling you, this round, I mean, you guys are always so thoughtful and generous, but it's just so kind. Um, books. Thoughtful, kind, um, and then I wanted to show a couple rocks. So this is the one from my professor. I mean, it's gorgeous. I mean, it's like professionally done. Um, one of you sent these little butterflies along with these cute little bags. I wish I had them, but the kids already took them in their rooms. These little craft bags that were for me to do a little craft with each kid, one for Ellis, one for Winnie, I can have their own craft time with them. So thoughtful, so cute, so kind. Um, there were a couple rocks in here that I wanted to showcase. Uh, this one, it's me, Jenny, Ellis and Winnie. It's so cute. Oh, so these rocks. I got a bag full of these rocks. They're all kind of this color and they have, you know, different patterns on all of them. There's probably, I, I couldn't even guess, 60. And the person sent me the picture of this sign that they made for their daughter's party. And they said for their daughter's party, they want to do an activity. I don't remember the correct wording. Um, I saved the picture. And she wrote, we're gonna make rocks for Jenny Apple. She wanted a rock garden. And everyone at the party made these rocks. Like, you guys are just so kind. Um, this one nearly knocked me over. Look at this. Are you joking? I, 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 I am speechless, like you guys. Um, I feel like there was... Ellis thought this was the coolest rock he'd ever seen in his entire life. Literally. That person also... Was it also the pug? I gotta be careful, there's a lot of shells in this order, so, or this shipment, so I don't want to mess them up. Um, just 
just cute. I mean, cute rock after cute rock. I mean, there's so many in here. What a cute idea. Winnie loved this. Little googly eyes. Um, somebody sent this. I mean, I'm just, I am over the moon. Um, I feel so fortunate and lucky um, to have a, a supportive community. Um, yeah. I wasn't planning on filming anything. It's just when that popped up in the sky, I was just like, okay. And then I happened to open all the PO box stuff late yesterday. And I was just like, this is, this is some of the most thoughtful. These are some of the most thoughtful rocks and things that you guys have sent. And I'm just so fortunate. And um, reading your guys' stories and your letters and your just kind words for the kids. Oh, there's also Winnie sleeping with a doll that somebody sent. Whoever, some, whoever you are, I don't want to like put names out there, but you sent a little doll and then for Ellis, you sent a little like cow. They both slept with both of them tonight. Like they were holding on so tight to them. I'm telling you, I feel so lucky um, that even in this hard situation, I have such kind people that are looking out for us. Not only my friends and my family, but you're, you guys, you guys are my friends and family. You're Jenny's friends and family. And you forever will be, um, as long as you want to be. Um, I just feel so fortunate to to have such a strong community walking with me and my kids through this. Um, you know, there, there's no there's no right way to grieve. Um, you know, I've heard people tell me to get over it. <laughs> um, and I've heard some people tell me that you shouldn't be smiling. It's like, there's no winning. But what I've learned in this is it takes a community, it takes a village. I know how fortunate I am to not only have friends and family helping me and supporting me, but I have this community too. Um, Jenny and I always knew it, that we're really fortunate that she was so special that you guys found her and it's turned into this, this thing, <laughs> this community. And I don't know where I'd be without it. I really don't. So was that thing in the sky a sign from Jen? Maybe not, but it sure got my attention. And she always told me, if you see a sparkle, if you see something glitter, if you see something bright in the corner of your eye, it's me. Well, that was bright and that was more than the corner of my eye. So, um, <laughs> unbelievable. Coolest thing I've ever seen. Um, and I just, I had to say thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for taking care of me and my kids, for sending such thoughtful, thoughtful things sending the most beautiful rocks um her garden is just it's unparalleled man i mean it's unbelievable how you know i see people daily stop in front of our house and just they'll show their kids they stop and take pictures i had a a guy come and fix something on the house yesterday and he asked if he could take a picture and he asked what the story was it's amazing and i tell him that you know, my wife documented her cancer journey, and in that time, uh, many people realized who my wife was and fell in love, just like I did. Hard not to. Ugh. As soon as I'm doing good, something happens, but this is like a good, this is like a good uh, emotion. Sorry again. This is like a good sadness. It's like a healthy sadness. It's a happy sadness. Oh, I forgot. There's one more too. Oh, there's two more. I'm going to show two more things. 
I'm gonna try not to show my to-do list that's under here. Somebody got this for us and sent it to us, the Appleford's Daily Blessings, and it's this clear kind of calendar um, that you can write on. And it just says Daily Blessings. And I was like, well, I don't really know what that means. Um, so what I'm taking it as is each day, I ask the kids what they're thankful for and I put down what I'm thankful for. So today I took the day off because Winnie didn't have school. Um, so I was, my blessing today was being able to spend the entire day with Winnie. I asked Winnie and she said, building Legos with daddy. That was her answer. Ellis just said <laughs> building Legos in general. Um, these are, I asked them what they're grateful for in the day. What are they grateful? for and what do they want to show gratitude towards and then I also added P.O. Box because when I was opening I just got so emotional seeing all this stuff so we just so then tomorrow what are we grateful for and I think this is a great reminder to show gratitude but what a special gift that someone made and sent to us but I love it it's on my fridge okay and then last but certainly not least someone sent this stone tic-tac-toe game which it's ladybugs and bees, thank you very much. But I love outdoor games. In our backyard, we also have this. It's a giant sized uh, Connect Four. Um, we love playing outside, especially when the weather gets warm. This is so thoughtful. Kids haven't seen it yet because I just opened it, but how cute is that on display in our backyard? And then I love that. Like you guys are so thoughtful, thank you. So, um, thank you for your generosity. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for being so sweet. Thank you for supporting my family and my kids. Thank you for all that you guys do and continue to do. I don't know where I'd be without all of your support and love. Um, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Okay, well, love you guys.